Clemency is definitely in the running for the crown of being the worst Dream Seeker on the roster. You have no attacks, your brigades attack incredibly slowly, and you've got next to no pickup range. In return, Clemency does have really high base movement speed and also gets a massive 10 speed growth rate after every wave. This in turn increases our collision damage as we get a conversion of 1 collision damage for every 3 speed that we have. Clemency also gets double the benefits for any health increases in the game, although to balance this out, I do find that health scaling items are much rarer on Clemency's loot table. So with these base stats, Clemency really does struggle to perform well as you tend to get very little gold early on due to the slow brigade damage coupled with the terrible pickup radius. What tends to happen then is that you become quite poor during the first few waves and soon find that enemies along with the shop prices outscale your income and damage in the later rounds. So what's the best way to play Clemency? Well, the trick is a knockback playstyle. Our brigade attacks really slowly, but that doesn't affect their knockback damage. And you might also notice that Clemency's loot table for companions really incentivizes this playstyle with the amount of melee focused companions it has. The best companions to go for in the common category are the Chieftains and Jungle Folk, which do really good knockback damage. For your uncommon companions, the pink haired young lady is a really good one for survival as she's a melee companion which periodically drops hearts for you. Early on, the way that we play this character is to have our melee companions group around us and once we get a sizable group of enemies in front of us, we'll launch our companions through the enemies and run through the space that we just created, picking up all the gold and health that dropped. This is going to be your safest playstyle early on and can be used to quickly dispatch the boss on waves 3 and 6. Later on, once you've got enough melee companions leveled up, they should be strong enough to form a defensive barrier around you, keeping you fairly safe for most of the wave. I tend to wait until there's about 10 to 15 seconds left on the clock before I knock them all away clearing the map as I run through and pick up as much loot as I can. When playing Clemente, pay attention to any items that increase your maximum health. These items are fairly rare, but thanks to Clemency's double health bonus, you get a lot out of these items. The potion that grants you 5 health will instead give you 10, and the sun hats that normally give you 15 will now give you a pretty massive 30 health. This seeker is definitely one of the harder ones to win with, so keep at it. The more aggressively you utilize the knockbacks earlier on, the easier it will be later on in the game. So good luck. They're here. They're here.
they're here. Darkness unfolds. <laughs> 